Hello and welcome back. I'm back up at the storage to do some more jobs and it's not raining which is great. Uh, the job I'm going to be doing this week is one that I've wanted to do for quite a long time. Uh, all the jobs that I, I do are ones that I've wanted to do for quite a long time but anyway um, this one is the spotlights in our caravan. We have uh, six of those. I'm going to be changing four of them today. The ones that I'm going to be changing are uh, two at the front of the van and then two at the rear of the van where, where the bed is. I'm changing them to the LED uh, dimmable ones but with a USB socket on them and that enables us to basically use the USB socket to charge our phones up um, and iPads and stuff like that. So I know what you're thinking, not another USB spotlight changing video but this one hasn't been done in a 2011 Bailey Unicorn though has it? Um, there are probably going to be slightly different issues and different uh, fittings in, in every single van um, that you come across. So, um, it's you know, this is personal to this van if you have one of these. The reason why I set this channel up is in order to share our journey and everything that we do with our caravan with other caravanners and, and hopefully help them. And also show that some of the jobs that we do are very easy to do on the caravan. You can maintain your caravan, uh, do a lot of the jobs yourself at uh, a relatively um, cheap cost uh, and, and also um, you don't have to get um, somebody in to do the jobs and pay that a bit extra. So that was one of the ideas behind the channel. So it's about just sharing my experiences and our experiences with you in order to hopefully help other caravanners. So the spotlights I've got are Mensa spotlights. I bought them off eBay. They were just about 18, 18.75 each. I'll put a link uh, in the description below of the site that I got them from. They're, uh, they're exactly the same size in the base as the, the ones that we've got in. At the back you've got the dimmable section, spotlight at the front and then the uh, USB charger on the side. I put some technical uh, information up for you. So on the left hand side you can see the dimensions of the actual light. This gives you good information. On the right hand side it tells you that a 12 volt, 2.4 watt power consumption, uh, it's got LED, so it gives you quite a lot of different details on there and the dimensions of them. So hopefully that will help you if you're going to be doing this job. So the only uh, equipment that I'm going to need to do this job will be a screwdriver and the light itself and possibly some brute force and ignorance. So we're going to do the front ones first. So the first step is to just take the old screws out. Also, before you start this, make sure you have your master switch off. I've actually turned my 12 volt socket side off from the main consumer unit, so there's definitely no power coming towards these lights. Take the two screws out, and if you just gently pull on the cable, you'll see that the uh, connection uh, drops out. So the cable will come down this one here you can see it's still got some of the wood in it from when it was uh, initially put in and you've got two connectors here that we're just uh, gonna disconnect. So disconnect these they just pull out the spade connectors and that's that one removed. So we're gonna connect the new light back up now it doesn't matter you've got two connections from here and two from here. Obviously one's live and one's earth. It doesn't matter which way these go around, it'll work either way. So don't worry too much about which way these go in, um, they will work each way. And also it has got a switch on this light like the other one. So we're just going to plug those in. So I've got the two connections there. Now I have turned the master on and the lights on and you can see that the light works and also is dimmable. So we're just going to fix that back up into place. So we're gently going to push the cables back up into the opening. Now this particular light has a back plate which you need to screw in and the, the although it's roughly the same size the holes are just slightly in a different place so I'm going to put it in, in just a little bit of a different place. I'm going to put one of the screws in the original hole and then I'm going to move the other one round. 
So that's roughly in the same position there. Again, it's not in the same hole, but it does cover it, which is great. And then we're just gonna screw that one up into there. So we've got the back plate on. We're just gonna push the light up into position. Make sure it's flush all the way around and then you just simply turn and twist it and that locks it on. So now we've got it in position, we can switch the light on and uh, that works absolutely fantastically well. So now we've got the two lights in at the front, we're going to do the lights at the back. Slightly different method to fitting those at the back, so let's go and have a look at that. So the lights at the back are slightly different because you've got an LED light that runs underneath here and we have to remove this uh, this clear section as well as the spotlight to get to the cables because the cables come back underneath here and underneath this uh, light section here so first of all we're going to drop the lights and then we're going to take the plastic cover off I've switched to my uh, my Ryobi drill because it's a little bit easier just to take the lights off That's the second one. Now you can slightly pull it, but the cable sits behind this piece here. So first of all, we've got to remove this clear plastic. If you just get a, a very thin screwdriver, I'm gonna try and just prise this off, the plastic off, and as you can see, that just lifts away. So I've taken the whole plastic light strip off. I'm gonna drop the other light down. So we've got that off now and then we're going to take the plastic trim off. There are three screws in this. So now that's out, just loosened off. We can pull the main connection out here and there's the spade connectors that we're going to be taking out. Pulled one out and then just put the new one in. And we'll do that on both sides. And we'll just push the cable back up behind this section that we've brought down. Old one out, and then new one in. It is a little bit more fiddly because you've got to get them the wires from behind here, but nevertheless, it's still quite an easy job to do. I'm just going to shove them back behind the bit of the void there. You can see that one's falling out as uh, I'm opening the void up. So that both lights on, we can now reattach all this and get it all back into place. So that's the two lights mounted in place, all I've got to do now is put this plastic trim back in place and that just clips in. So that's the back two lights in mounted up, I've got my mobile phone in and I can see that that is now charging which is great. So that's another job done for LED uh, USB spotlights fitted. No problem really, not a difficult job to do. As I said, I'll put a link uh, in below of where I got those spotlights from. They're, uh, they're quite a nice light, they look uh, really good and they match in uh, with the other ones, so I'm really pleased with those. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon, bye bye.